Hello everyone! As the end of the year approaches, I would like to provide all of you with a little update as to where everything stands with all of the Dektronix products currently in development. Now, as we headed into the fall, the goal that I set for myself was that by the end of the year, I would have final versions of all of the hardware for all of the upcoming products built in sufficient quantity for both internal development and external EMC testing. EMC testing being this uh, lab process that every electronics product has to go through before it can be distributed outside of the company that is building it. Now, I have not gotten there completely, but I'm pretty close. As of today, I have constructed enough circuit boards for both internal and external prototypes of all the products that are currently in development. This includes both the full printalizer enlarging timer and its peripherals, which at the moment are the baseboard meter probe for measuring light under an enlarger, and the printalizer Densa stick, which is designed to help with the creation of paper profiles. I've also constructed enough circuit boards for the UV-Vis densitometer, which is the other product that I'm working on. I haven't yet constructed complete devices in sufficient quantity for all of these, um, because I'm still waiting on a few last minute components just to finalize everything with their designs. Uh, I have all the electronics, all the enclosures, just a few things with adhesives and optical filters that I want to do one last run at. But with any luck, by the beginning of January, I will have everything ready and I'll be able to start getting EMC testing scheduled. Once EMC testing is complete, I am going to start preparing to send prototype devices to a select group of beta users for feedback. In addition to all of this, another thing that I've been working on is calibration hardware related to both of these devices. The Printalizer Enlarging Timer Meter Probe is essentially an incident light meter designed to be used at the baseboard of an enlarger. In order to calibrate it, especially against a reference uh, instrument, I need to simulate the conditions of being under an enlarger in a way that can be automated and repeatable. So to do that, I've constructed this apparatus you see before you here, where on the beginning we have a light source that uh, is a tungsten lamp of approximately 300K, simulating a common and larger bulb. Then we have a pair of motorized filter wheels that uh, let us dial in uh, neutral density to a pretty high degree of granularity, followed by a lens that then projects that light out in a way similar to how an enlarger would. Uh, and between the lens and the measurement plane, I have this uh, repurposed camera bellows to block out stray light. So the way this works is the meter probe gets inserted back here, and uh, there's also a um, sensor probe in here from uh, this calibrated lux meter. And the uh, light source shines light through, and uh, a piece of computer software controls the whole thing, uh, cycling through various filters and various sensor modes to perform the entire calibration process for the meter probe. The idea is that you can stick in a meter probe, click a button, and it will run the entire calibration automatically. Without an instrument like this, it would require taking a, a lot of painstaking measurements in a darkroom environment and uh, manually typing a whole bunch of numbers into a spreadsheet and doing some calculations. You can do this for a one-off, but you can't really do it um, in any kind of quantity. So this is the apparatus that I've been working on for calibrating the enlarging timer meter probes. One area of concern when it comes to the accuracy and repeatability of densitometer measurements is the impact of ambient temperature. Now, modern integrated light sensors are far less susceptible to temperature variation than the photodiodes of old may have been. 
However, the effect is not zero. It is extremely small in visible light, but with the sensors that I've been working with, it is a little bit more significant in the ultraviolet. To that end, I have decided to perform full thermal calibration for the upcoming UV Viz densitometer. To support that, I've acquired this thermal test chamber. The way it works is the device under test is placed inside the chamber, and then the chamber has a controller which can be computer controlled, where the chamber will ramp in a very controlled fashion across a full range of operational temperatures, and then I will be able to collect all the data to build a full temperature profile of the device. With this profile, I can then correct the readings such that a UV Viz densitometer should read exactly the same whether it is 10 degrees Celsius in your room or 30 degrees Celsius in your room. So there you have it. That's where things stand right now. With any luck, you will start to see products getting a lot closer to production early next year, or at least start hearing feedback from uh, test users as they get out in the wild. Uh, you can probably expect the UV Viz densitometer to be coming a little sooner than the printalizer enlarging timer, simply because um, there's a lot less to iron out with the firmware and the user experience. Plus, it can reuse a lot of the same tooling and documentation from the current densitometer. Uh, the enlarging timer is obviously a much more ambitious product, and thus there's a lot more that will have to go into making it a complete package. In any case, I hope everybody has a fantastic new year, and I will see you later. Bye.